are back here on Girl Talk. Again, we're at the South Coast Imaging Center here in Hilton Head. We have Dr. Pat Shapiro with us. And we have been talking about everything from wellness, health, breast cancer, um, all the things New that you cover, new technologies. Right. I'm so impressed. We actually got a tour, and Deb had to yell at us and make us come back. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I got my tour early. So exactly. It, it and was so, great. Dr. Shapiro, Dr. Pat, talk to us a little bit about. Um, I know there was a fun survey that was done, and the results of that are really impressive, and I think something that will speak to all of us. We we, we actually got a marketing team to speak to people at Starbucks. <laughs> and oh, oh. some of the biggest things that came out is that the most important things for patients were that they have a partnership with their physician mm -hmm. and that the goal is wellness. Mm -hmm. And so I thought today it was a good topic to talk about from an imaging standpoint, what can we offer Correct. that helps a patient be involved in their own care to promote wellness. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, first yeah. thing, I know you're so excited. I know, like <laughs> Hi, my name's Debbie Quirk. Can I have a mammogram, please? I'm, I'm, doing I'm it. going. I'm but, going. But you've he's got he's the he's 3D he's mammogram, which right is a this. big, 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 big deal. And it's talk to oh, um, it's oh yeah. Yeah, we've been doing 3D mammography for about 18 months now, and the difference is startling compared yeah. to the routine 2D mammo. And if you can picture it, a 2D mammo is as if you had a book okay. and it's closed and the cover is there and all the pages are in there, but you can't see what's on those pages. Mm -hmm. And when we open the book and start flipping through the pages, all of a sudden you can read the words on those right. pages. Makes well, sense. the same thing is true on the mammogram. When we do the 2D, all the tissue is superimposed. So we can't tell what's between the layers. So in addition, on a 3D mammogram, we do one millimeter slice thicknesses mm -hmm. through the breast so that you can actually see through it and pick up lesions that we absolutely oh, cannot see. Amazing. The way she was just kind of scrolling down and yeah. each layer, I guess, of tissue was yeah. yes. moving away so that you could really wow. see. It was just a more thorough yeah. Yeah. Um, And I mean, it truly to needs to be, you know, what we've been saying is the pink standard for yes. mammography. But mm -hmm. there's now published reports that are out coming from around the world and they're all showing the same thing. There's a 30 to 40 percent increase in breast cancer detection. Wow. There's a decreased a callback rate, which is, you know, we try to reduce the callback rate because it creates so much anxiety, anxiety it's unnecessary. Yeah, I agree. And it's also causing fewer biopsies. And these are all win-wins in the world of mammography. What are some of the other testing imaging that you all can do to promote collaboration between patient and physician? In addition, for wellness. Okay, the, the three biggest problems, that, particularly for women, the number one cause of death in women is heart disease, and February is, is heart month. Mm -hmm. And the simplest test that can be done to tell whether women have coronary artery disease is what's called a calcium score. Mm -hmm. And it's well recognized now in cardiology literature that if you had to pick one test, this mm -hmm. is the most specific mm -hmm. one. Um, and all it is is it's pictures on a CAT scan are very limited, um, minimal radiation, and we're looking for calcified plaque. Okay. And it's a marker, and the more plaque that somebody has on their coronary arteries, mm -hmm. the more likely they are to have a significant stenosis. Mm -hmm. So if your calcium score is zero and you have no plaque, there's more than 95% correlation with a normal coronary angiogram. Once your plaque starts getting above a score of 100, you've got a higher and higher risk that you have a significant stenosis. And it can be really used, one, to emphasize to the patient they have a problem, yeah. and to help them understand the importance of the lifestyle uh, modifications, right. whether it's yeah. diet, exercise, right. being placed on statins to lower cholesterol. Right. But so it's a real it's guide. Right if you're going in and those numbers are going up, you're getting those those tests or the scans done, exactly. then you work with the patients to tell them how to bring those numbers back One down. One of the things yeah. that's interesting, Deb, is that that radiologists are the diagnosticians yeah. for many other physicians. In other words, they get the images, they actually say this is what is going on, then relay that information. And guide the patient on how they need 
you know, what's going on so they can speak with their physician and guide their physician on how to help manage it. And then the third, because I know we've only got about a minute left, the third The third um, wellness. that is very, has unfortunately increased significantly is um, lung cancer in women. Mm -hmm. And the um, National Task Force has now come out and shown that having screening chest CTs is a way to lower the risk of mortality from lung cancer. And the recommendation is, is that for anybody with a 30-pack year history or more of smoking from 50 to 74 that they have annual screening chest CTs. Okay. And it will lower the mortality from lung cancer by 20%. Wow. I can't believe we have to go. We're just getting warmed That's up on all these There's, questions. Wow. Again, it's hard to pack it into it is. Well, Southwest Imaging is here in Hilton Head. You've been here for about a year, you said. Um, Pat Shapiro is very uh, user friendly, very interesting. Wow. Well, you've got to come back on and talk with us because I think, again, yeah, knowledge is power, it. isn't that what we always say? Yes. Sure is. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. We're going on a field trip. Mm -hmm.